Hi friends, this is Amit and you are watching my channel information educational videos. So they have released the round three cutoff and seat matrix that is Comet K Counseling 2020 I am talking about and after seeing this there there is a huge number of seat backend that you can also check that the PDF uploaded on the website or you can check in description box also and in this video I will talk about the how the extended round is now possible because they can't afford so much seat vacant because all the college will uh, do make pressure on Comet K for the extended round as they can't afford all the seat vacant because there is no so much uh, supplement a student that they will uh, get all the seat as you can see in the PDF there is so much seat uh, mainly for core branch in every college is a seat is available so if you are interested in core branch or if you are interested in lower college CSC then you can get in extended round as it will take place I think for sure it will take place because where will go the these all vacant seats so in this video I will talk about that and the admission procedure and so if you are first to my channel please subscribe it and share this video to your friends so that they can also get this information if you have any doubt after watching this video you can ask in the comment section or on my instagram i will try to help you and so let's start the video cutoff and seat matrix so due to huge demand of cs isc and ec cutoff not rise so much in some colleges it rise as i have expected in previous video but in some colleges it doesn't so as the trend is going high for all these three branch so everyone wants this this type of college and everyone feel the, those good college so the cutoff not really go high but in some colleges the cutoff increases as I, I was expected in the previous video so and due to this core branch seat are vacant in almost every college because all of you want the CSC, IC, EC um, branch so the core branch seat is vacant in ev almost every college you can see in the PDF and seat matrix suggest for extended round because so much seat are um, vacant so college will do make pressure on the comet k for uh, doing an ex extended round as they have to fill their college because they can't afford so much seat is vacant so if you are interested in core branch or you have lower rank and you want lower college with csc ic uh, you can get that in extended round if you don't get if you are not satisfied with the college that you get in third round that is if you get the bad college or i think i would say that you are not interested in the college because the college is not up to your mark so you can wait for the extended round if you think so but if you think if you like a little bit the college you should take admission by third round itself next is college will make pressure as i have said on comment k for this for sure and someone in comment section said about the mail uh, you, you, you all should mail to the comment k. you can do that that will uh, increase more pressure and they have to conduct the and they will conduct the extended round i think because they is it, it is their benefit because they can't uh, put the college vacant so much seat so they have to take the decision for extended round and so they can't let it be vacant and also there is no so much supplement a student so that all a student can take all the vacant seat and no one will pay it through management quota for that seat because the core branch demand is not up high so much as the case in CSE, IC or EC so if you are interested in core branch you can wait for the extended round you will get the college because no one is going to going to there is no such competition for the core branch so you can expect that you are going to get those seats in extended round which are really vacant and for this don't change your branch please and 
for getting core branch is good uh, good college don't change your mind that if you are thinking for isc sec and now you get in uh, some lower college or in average college and you think you can get good college with the uh, core branch then don't do it please don't do it in every video i said this because branch is the main thing for you for your btech degree and your career so don't play with your branch it will decide everything for you so now i will talk about the admission process if you are satisfied with the college that you are uh, did you have allotted through round 3 phase 2 then do your admission process just do accept and freeze then wait for the college mail they will send a mail or if they don't haven't sell haven't send you the mail till yet then you have to mail them and then wait for the reply they will reply you and you have to do according to what they instruct you and someone from instagram sent me a screenshot in which they ask about the do your on online reporting before 29 and uh, um, before 4 of uh, january you have to come to college for your paper verification so if you are facing this type of problem and you can't go uh, to bangalore as you belong from different parts of india so i will tell you do your online reporting before 29 and pay all the remaining fee and ask them for some days and tell them your issue about the transport system that you can't get the ticket or train or any way you can't go to the college so they will provide you some time and then you have to go because anyway you have to go to bangalore because you are going to study there for four years so you have to go for the classes because after one month i think the offline class will start so you have to go so take time from the college and assure them that you are going to uh, study in that college because they ask for physical verification so that the admission is confirmed because many student don't take admission after online verification so they are asking about this so you can send them your mail with proof that you got the college and then they will tell you everything about the process what you need to do just upload the document in pdf format or jpg format and then your verification will be done so maximum college is doing it online some in some case they are asking for offline so just you do the same that i have told earlier and but in case of offline you can ask for some time as i told earlier you can ask for time because it is not possible to go to bangalore so fast as you have problem for transport so this is all about the seat matrix and cutoff phase 2 of round 3 and the admission process that you need to follow in order to get the admission done hope you find this video useful and if you like this video please subscribe my channel and share this video to your friends so that they can also get this information and like this video thanks